Thank you. You have defended your sponsorship of the resolution paying millions of dollars of additional retirement benefits to firefighters by claiming they are paid out of the firefighters trust. What you don't say is that the trust is funded solely by the taxpayers of Spokane. How do you defend your support of this very costly decision? Lee, excuse me, can you hear me? Apparently trying to do the right thing in election year gave you, um, Mr. Hessian, an opportunity to criticize the hardworking firefighters who were promised this benefit years ago when they first came to work. The money that goes into the firefighter pension fund has been going in there for years. This year, in order to resolve a 14-year-old controversy or, um, or a quagmire, actually, was uh, resolved by bringing the money directly through approval of the entire city council, and I don't think you vetoed it, and putting it where it could be used to pay for the premiums. Otherwise, the money always would have gone, still would have gone, and in the future will have gone into the firefighter pension fund. The real issue here is that the benefit was due. It will not cost the taxpayers any more. Uh, it saves money for the fund, and ultimately, it was the right thing to do. You have 30 seconds. I take issue with you because you don't know how the trust fund is funded and how it will eventually be prompted and and burdened by this $10 million. And if it is not if it is not paid for out of the, it has to be paid for out of the trust fund. And if it's not, all of that money comes from the resources of the of the of the citizens of Spokane. And if that money is not utilized for this purpose, it either goes back into the general fund for general fund purposes, or it goes back to the taxpayers. So to say that it, is not, it does not cost the taxpayers anymore is misrepresenting the facts. 